Okay, check it out. It's a four screen laptop. Now the center display is an 1100 nits mini LED, 265 hertz refresh rate IPS, 100% DCI-P3 color gamut displays on the right and left, and then a like a 4K by half display here in the middle. But these three are all QHD plus 16 by 10 aspect ratio displays. These are all being ran through USB-C power delivery. So you have to have a laptop with two USB-C power outputs if you want a triple screen, or in this case, the Zephyrus Duo 16 being paired with the Mon Duo 16 double screen displays. I did make a quick video thing about it, but I wanted to make a more detailed hands-on video and talk about why I would or would not buy this. And I think this is really, really, really cool in so many freaking ways, but it's also not so good in other ways. The tricky part about this display, as you'll see here in a moment, is these external displays do weigh a decent amount of weight and they're gonna add added stress to the laptop's hinge. I would not be moving this around without first taking it apart if it's, for the most part, stationary. I think it'll be all right. Using DaVinci Resolve, I'm able to play the live video feed over here on the right and then a timeline here in the middle, video effects and media player selection over here on the left. So it allows you to have a lot more usability in terms of actual functional space. One big downside is you're gonna have a really hard time actually using the Mon Duo with a laptop like the Zephyrus G16. It's so thin that it I had to elevate the rear of the laptop to be able to get this to work. Now, this is not the default USB-C cable. The default cable you can see is sideways. It's like an L cable. You would really want to use this kind of L cable style. Play a game in the center. You could watch a stream, an NBA game or a football game on the left. You could have your live stream chat on the bottom. There's just so much multitasking potential with a four monitor setup like this. Two giant thumbs up for innovation. And that's why I really wanted to cover it because innovation is key. I love to see laptop innovation. It's up to you if you think this would be worth it for your time and money. I think for a lot of people it would be as long as you're mainly gonna be camping out in one place. In terms of compatibility, you're probably gonna want a 15.6 inch up to a 17.3 inch laptop display. You have to extend this out just a little bit for the 16 inch. An 18 inch, unfortunately, is just a little too big. My Blade 18 could not handle them on Duo 16. I would love to see a similar 18 inch style thing. And I would also love to see an OLED version of this because OLED panels are extra lightweight. And I would also love to see upgraded build quality. I wanna see metal materials instead of plastic. And I wanna see a much better support on the rear of the laptop so that the hinge doesn't take any weight. And right now, as you can see, if I shake this table, there's a fair decent bit of wobble to these displays, which gives you a little bit of worry, right? You're afraid you're gonna cause damage to your hinge or that the whole laptop assembly might tip over or something. I don't think that's really too much of an issue with the Zephyrus Duo, but with the Zephyrus G16, which is even lighter, it might be an issue. If you're looking for the ultimate productivity setup in a portable laptop form factor, I think this is probably the ultimate productivity setup for multi displays that you could take with you. And this could pretty much fit into a backpack because you could put the laptop in the laptop sleeve and then the double screens fold down into a laptop size that goes into your backpack. So you pretty much, as long as you have two little areas you could put it into, you could carry this with you. All you need is two USB-C power cables with display port support and power delivery support to be able to power each laptop display individually and separately. But if we take a look at how this actually functions, it's really cool. Big caveat here is Monduo, I think, had some pretty questionable marketing around how this was gonna work in actual practice. I don't know how they've updated their drivers and software, but before, the owner of the company was trying to get me to add custom resolutions to be able to play games across all three displays. And it technically worked, but there was severe lag input between the left and the right display and the center display, the center display being very responsive, the left one being mostly responsive and the right one being terribly unresponsive. And the fact that there was no NVIDIA surround support is the ability to combine multiple monitors in a single resolution so that in game settings, it'll let you select that one higher resolution and then it'll display the game across all three monitors 
automatically and simultaneously all the frames will be delivered so that you get a smooth gaming experience across all three monitors. And like I said, right now, this does not support that, which makes me not really want to recommend this for gaming in particular, but for productivity, this thing is awesome. So now in the future, I mean, I could see one Thunderbolt 4 plug to two display outs being used to keep everything synced up. I don't know, but the thing is you can't really go through the iGPU. You gotta be connected directly to the NVIDIA GPU for both displays if you want all three displays to be able to be NVIDIA surround. And this is the kind of thing they probably would need to coordinate with a laptop manufacturer and NVIDIA to really truly execute well. And there just wasn't any coordination between all three. This was, you know, a universal laptop thing, but I could see another company like Asus or Lenovo or some other else building their own external double monitor that they attach to the laptop display like this or in a similar-ish manner and getting an amazing triple monitor setup with actual NVIDIA surround. And you could then play games across all three monitors and one giant like 7,680 80 pixels across. Absolutely insane. By 1600, you're going to need to use a lot of upscaling to be able to actually render those pixels out on a mobile laptop GPU. Don't get me wrong, a 4090, a 4080 even, 5070 Ti, 5080, 5090 laptop GPU, all of those could probably play a lot of games with upscaling. But the 5090 obviously being the most compatible with that high of a resolution, with the more VRAM that it has and the more CUDA cores, you could really actually play a lot of games probably with quality upscaling. I think there's lots of potential here. I want to see this concept fleshed out. I want to see minimal bezels between the three laptop displays. Right now there's a pretty sizable about one inch gap between each display so if they could reduce the bezels they could make nvidia surround support native and then they were able to just make it all work on a software level to be able to play those games at like a huge resolution 7680 by 1600 Ooh, that would be a really sweet setup as far as gaming goes. As it is right now, it's just like an ultimate productivity setup, not a gaming setup. Like I said, because of the issue that each monitor has a slightly different response rate. Even though they're 165 Hertz, the way it goes through, like one of them goes through the integrated GPU over here on this left plug, and then the right one goes directly to the Nvidia GPU, or you can connect it with HDMI. Both of these could, in theory, go to an HDMI as well. You would think, in theory, you'd be able to get NVIDIA Surround working, but I was not able to in all my fiddling with many hours trying to get this to work how I wanted it to work. That's the Mon Duo. The cable that it comes with is a nice little L cable, but any USB-C data cable will theoretically work as long as it supports display put output. Along the bottom here, you can see we have a mini HDMI and two USB-C inputs. You only need to use the middle one here, I believe, to do the video input and power delivery. And then on the back here, there's also a little very stiff hinge foot that basically goes down and helps support the weight of the laptop displays. Let me go ahead and show you how to set this up. You open the laptop up, double screens open up, pull it open a little bit. Uh, you gotta make sure you do the correct one facing downward. You bring it around the laptop and you just got to make sure that the little rubber feet go on the outside of the screen and the screen is completely in there. And then this has a little top edge that catches. You're going to need to plug it all in. It remembers the setup, so I don't have to do any setup for the software after I plug it back in. It's just ready to go, ready to use multi-screen window support immediately. How cool is that? That is so cool. These external displays also have a little built-in menu system right here for adjusting a few settings like color and brightness. You can use touch to move apps around and even change power performance settings on the laptop. The last thing you probably wanna do is take the little foot down in the back. Just make sure this thing is helping support the whole laptop hinge so that you don't put as much weight on it. So there you have it, a laptop with four laptop displays, a total of 62 inches as measured from corner to corner for all four monitors put together. Ultimately, I think this would be an amazing video editing, live streaming, general productivity, stock monitoring, office tasks. Like it would be really, really great. Spreadsheet on the left, email in the middle, presentation on the right. You got your news feeds or whatever down here on the mini display to allow you to also use a pen for stylus input for content creativity. 
Of course, the downside here with the Zephyrus Duo is that the keyboard is pushed forward a little bit and the trackpad is narrower and not as big. But this is still such a cool setup and I just really wanted to share this with you. Overall, super cool product idea and pretty good implementation but software support and full planning of the product needs to be just a little bit better. If you're gonna use this Duo setup, I would recommend having two USB-C outputs on the rear of the laptop so you don't have to have any cables coming out the front. That looks a lot better and it's functionally, I think, a lot better. And then in addition, I think the future versions of this could be a lot better. And maybe they have made a better version at this point. Either way, if you wanna pick up one of these, link in the description. No pressure to buy, but super cool idea. Anyway, that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. Brandon, out.